Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. We are back with another video and today's has provided by AF Sister Wig. Now they sent me over this beautiful 13 by 6 loose wave wig and it is Swiss lace. And it also came with the knots already bleached and plucked. So all I had to do was literally take this wig out of the box y'all and just get ready to install it. Like the wig is a 10 out of 10 okay. And this wig is their invisible knots wig. So as you see in the beginning of this video I zoomed in very close. Closely so you guys can see there is absolutely no knots that is being shown um, after the install now right now just jumping straight into this video I am re-customizing this hairline to fit Shari's hairline because you guys can see that Shari has a very low hairline so I did part off a section and pull those hairs right on out I just ripped it from the root of the lace and then I'm going to repluck in the center of their hairline to just make sure it is still nice and gives off their pre pluck look then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra lace from around the ear tabs so then when I go ahead and apply my layers it just lays completely flat down and then I'm going to do that on both sides but as I mentioned y'all this is an AF sister wig and you don't have to do anything but take this wig out of the box and unfortunately I accidentally deleted the unboxing but this wig uh, does come with you know of course your uh, bobby pins your um, lace wig cap um, your edge brush and of course you know the wig itself and a little information card you know things you need to know about your wig so um, it does come with these special goodies that um, most wig packages does come with okay so right now what I'm doing is just going in with my layers of my lace glue and for her install today I use three layers total and once my last layer was clear I went ahead and you know began to tack down her wig so let's get into this lay y'all don't forget to like comment Subscribe and share this video with other people. And starting with the center first, I like to place the wig using my fingertips to apply pressure. And I'm going to have Shari hold the first side down into place. And I'm going to do the other side, put it into place. And I just gently press the fingertips of the lace into the glue. And as I mentioned, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And once I have it where I need it to sit, then I will go in with the blow dryer on the heat setting and blow dry that lace right on in. So, um, and I will be using the heat setting. I know some people like to do cool, some people do heat. Um, I guess just do whatever works for you and the product that you're using. But I like to do go in on the heat setting and just, you know, apply pressure with my comb and blow dry that right on in before I take the melt belt and I tie it down. So the melt belt is off and now it's time to cut the lace. I'm going to go ahead and raise it off the lace, starting with the left side of her head first. Well, technically that's the right side. Um, and just getting it as close to mimic her natural hairline as possible. Um, she do have it a little higher up and then it kind of dip on the side. So I wanted to mimic her natural hairline as possible. So I cut the lace to mimic her hairline. And don't worry if everything is not tacked down the first time right away because I am going to go back in. Or you can go back in if you're working on your client and just add more glue to the part that's not tacked down. But matching her hairline, this is what it looks like. And now I'm just going to go in and tack down those lifting edges to secure the lace all the way down on the edges. And I'm going to repeat both of these steps to the other side and also go back in, blow dry that lace. And um, take a little bit of heat protectant, spread across the hairline and hot comb it before I tie it down once again with that melt belt. Oh, 
And y'all can see I got my mask on. Your girl is a little bit under the weather. But, you know, I still had to bring the content for my beauties. And just trying to end this year off with a bang. So, here I am dropping new videos or whatever for y'all. For my beauties. Period. But, um, before I tie down the lace, I wanted to go back in and pluck that center just a little bit more. To give me more of a natural effect. Because the hairline is given on the sides. And I just want to make sure it was given in the middle as well. Um, also... And now I'm taking my even holding spray and spraying the um, edge of the lace. And I'm going to tie that down with the melt belt. And then once I do that, I'm going to start by kind of pre-styling the hairstyle off by creating my curved side parts on the side. Because as you've seen at the, in the thumbnail and also in the beginning of this video, we will be doing um, two braids on the sides going into um, two big butterfly braids in the center. Kind of like a part down the middle with two butterfly braids with two miniature braids on the side of that and um just making everything connect in the back and whatever whatever real, real cute real cute you know something new for the timeline you know because i'm not gonna lie i've been doing a lot of like styles for real um i like to get real creative with my looks i don't try i try to not do too much of the same thing over and over because i know repetition with y'all it does get boring it's like girl how many middle parts you gonna do how many this you gonna do so i be trying to create new looks myself or take looks that's already trending and just add a little extra to it you know give it a little pizzazz you know but um, nevertheless, I uh, just created my curved parts, hot comb, sleek in using my wax stick. And now we're going to go ahead and remove this melt belt, continue to create my parts, uh, put on a section for my baby hairs, and create my small, tiny braids.
and basically what you do to one side you want to do to the other side i'm just sectioning off um creating my baby hair areas gonna do my braids and like i said y'all i had to do absolutely nothing to this wig <laughs> like before installing it nothing like af sister do not play when it comes to the wigs like every time i work with this company y'all i promise you the wig has been a one every single time and i had to do little to no effort when it came to installing and that's what i be liking i love a wig that i could just take out the box and just put it on like it just saves you so much more time i promise y'all so make sure you guys do check out the description details down below and get you one of these this holiday season like especially if you are a beginner and you don't know how to really bleach and pluck and all that like this is the perfect wig like honestly this is the perfect wig for beginners but nevertheless i'm um, creating my braid here on this side and then once i'm done with that i'm going to pull out the baby hair for the center usually i don't do center baby hairs but for this look i did want to include it um and then after i create my side braids and pull down my middle baby hair uh baby hair section i'm going to part this big section in the middle and half um to prep and create my two butterfly braids
And now that I have sectioned everything off, hop home this sleep did make sure I cover the tracks in the back. We are now, well, you guys time to braid, pretty much. And the base of the butterfly braid is to create a regular French braid, y'all. And when I when I do my butterfly uh, butterfly braids, what I like to do, instead of making the braid kind of be like in the middle of the section, I bring it very, very low toward, like closer towards the part. So we kind of have like that gap space at the top because I like to sleek it down like towards the front of the um, hairline and then that's when I like to plait it all the way down and then spread the bread out the bread <laughs> spread the braid out y'all to give it the butterfly effect so that's why I didn't center the braid I kind of braided it lower closer towards the smaller braid because we're going to sleek all of that down and then spread the braid and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well All right, y'all, so I went ahead and created the other braid on the other side, and this is what it's looking like, nice and cute. Now we're going to spray that hairline down one more time, y'all, one last time for the 110, okay? And I'm just going to comb everything down nice and sleek, tie the hairline down, and while that melt belt is sitting, I am going to go ahead and clean and conceal up that part. Um, I'm not going to lie, right, right now, I was kind of like... It's not really symmetrical to the best of my ability, but I don't know. Once, like, I concealed the part, it definitely was giving me symmetrical vibes. I don't know. But nevertheless, it, you know, you want to make the parting spaces as symmetrical as possible. I know it would be a little hard, you know, getting the parts even on both sides. But I still made a do what it do. And if I was a little off, I kind of camouflaged it to be even or whatever. 
as far as the sections but i'm just going to still sleek everything down and it's like once i kind of widened the part up a little bit it did make it look more symmetrical so i'm just going to go in um with the blow dryer blow dry that area up and then when it's time to remove that melt belt get into those baby hairs we're going to pin the braids together down in the back and we're going to be done so stay tuned for the finishing look we're halfway there y'all well a little more than halfway but we almost to the finish line So now that it is time to remove that belt belt, we're going to go ahead and remove it and get into that knotless scalp period. Heavy on the knotless because ain't no knot showing on this wig period. And I'm going to zoom in for you guys just so we can get like, you know, up close and personal with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can watch me do these baby hairs. Um, and for the center baby hair, I just cut it short, curl it, swoop it up. Same thing on the sides, cut it short, curl it, swoop it up. And sometimes you can get as dramatic or as simple as you want when it comes to your baby hairs or whatever. But, you know, I just kept it kind of like, well, I, I did a little, I did a little razzle dazzle. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I did a little razzle dazzle. Um, I really want to consider these like very simple because I did do like the one in the middle plus um, like a little curved one on the side. So it's kind of like simple, but simple with a razzle dazzle. This is not like my dramatic baby hairs where I, I used to go really crazy in the baby hairs. Like if you've been a subscriber, do you know how dramatic I used to go with the baby hairs? But we kind of like toned it down a lot just because, you know, things change when the seasons change. It's like with the hair game. We have our seasons for everything. Seasons, the season for dramatic baby hairs was in. Now everybody is more like calm and you know, just you just gotta continue to go with the flow because the hair game does changes a lot. But nevertheless, I'm creating a little swoop in the middle, uh, making sure it's nice and short and not too long. And then I'm gonna do my baby hairs on the side, very simple, quick little swoop, quick little sideburn, and then I'm gonna do the baby hairs on the other side as well.
So after completing my baby hairs on the other side, I went ahead and tied the edges down once again, but just like the very, very tip, um, I didn't add any more holding spray. I just tied it down um, so we could just make sure that lace stays super melted in. And I'm just taking a little um, got to be spray, spraying it on the sides because what I end up doing was sleeking the sides down. And you know the same way that you do your swoops, how you tie, not tie, but how you rubber band one piece of the hair on the opposite side of your wig to the hair that you use for your swoop is secure and make sure it moves. I mean, it doesn't move. That's kind of the method that I did for my sides to stay sleek back. Once I finished sleeking it back, I took both of those sections and rubber banded together at the bottom of the wig so that um, those swoop sides can stay as pushbacks without, um, you know, coming up or moving. So her sides are super secure because I did go ahead and secure that, like I mentioned, with the rubber band at the bottom of the wig, which I'm not gonna show on camera because it's something I actually did off of the camera. Um, but once I removed that belt bell and I finished um, securing the uh, braids with bobby pins in the back to overlap each other and everything like that. Um, I will go in and conceal up the parts with the hair up a little bit and show you guys the finishing look. And let's get into this scalp chow. Shari is doing her big one. And like I said, y'all, you don't see no knots on this wig. Like, this wig is literally knotless. Like, we love the perfect beginner-friendly wig. That's how I connected the braids in the back. Yes, yes, Shari is giving, period. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful look. And make sure you guys try it out. Tag me on IG, Facebook, whatever you have me on, okay? Period. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see y'all beauties on the next video.